Installation of Roxtech G 6x1 BGB To install the Roxtech G 6x1 BGB, you need the frame, the compression unit, stay plates, RM BGB modules, and Roxtech lubricant. Use bolts to mount the frame to the wall or floor location. Secure the ground wire to the appropriate path. Clean the frame, removing paint and dirt to ensure good electrical conductivity. Use eye protection when preparing the cables. If you use metal clad or tech cable, mark on the cable where the outer sheath is to be removed. Then remove the outer sheath as well as any protection tape or plastics. On the armor, mark a length that matches the braid section of the module. The armor must be visible outside the module after installation. Cut the cable armor. Make sure that the armor extends beyond the edge of the module. If required, fit an anti-short bushing at the end cut. If you use SWA cables, there are two alternatives for preparation. You can either finish the end of the cable armor with a piece of cable sheath or with shrink tube. If you intend to finish the armor with cable sheath, make two marks on the cable corresponding to the braid section of the module and cut the outer sheath at both marks. Save the short piece and remove excess sheath. Mark where to cut the armor and cut it. Slide the loose piece of cable sheath so that it covers the end of the armor. The exposed armor is to accommodate the whole braid section of the module. Make sure that the short piece of cable sheath is completely outside the module. If you intend to finish the armor with shrink tube, Mark precisely where to cut the outer sheath and cut it accordingly. Then mark where to cut the armor. It must extend beyond the module to support the shrink tube. Cut the armor. Cover the end with a piece of shrink tube. Use a hot air gun to shrink the tube. Make sure that the shrink tube is completely outside the module. Feed the cables through the frame opening. To continue the installation, remove the core and fold out the braid of the modules that are to hold cables or pipes. Adapt outer layers to the cable or pipe diameter by peeling off layers from each module half. The halves must not differ by more than one layer. Adapt inner layers of both module halves to the cable screen, armor, or pipe. The halves must not differ by more than one layer. Fold the braid tightly inside the module. There must be a 0.1 to 1 millimeter gap between the module halves when fitting the cable. Lubricate the frame areas that will be in contact with the rubber of the modules, especially in the corners. Avoid excess lubricant on areas in contact with the braid. Lubricate all modules thoroughly on the inside and outside. Avoid excess lubricant on the braid. Starting with the largest ones, 
Place the module halves around the cables. Do not slide them into the frame. Insert a stay plate on top of every finished row of modules. Make sure that the stay plates are clean. Fill the packing space with cables, modules, and stay plates. To simplify the installation, pre-compression tools can be used to make room and to keep the cables in place. Before installing the final row of modules, insert two stay plates together. The last one can be held in place with a stay plate holder. Install the final row of modules between the stay plates. Drop the upper one on the modules. To make room for the Roxtech wedge, you may pre-compress the system with the hand grip or Roxtech pre-compression wedge. Lubricate the Roxtec wedge. Insert it in the frame with the marked side facing the stay plate. Tighten the bolts alternately until stop. The wedge will compress and seal the transit and the excess lubricant will be squeezed out. Attach the wedge clip to check that the wedge is properly tightened. Reinstallation. It's easy to add a new cable. Turn the two screws counterclockwise until stop and then remove the wedge. Prepare the new metal clad or SWA cable. Lift the upper stay plate. Take out a spare module. Feed the new cable through the frame. Make sure that there is a 0.1 to 1 millimeter gap. Lubricate thoroughly and then reinstall the module. Lubricate the Roxtec wedge, insert it into the frame and tighten the bolts until stop. Attach the wedge clip to check that the wedge is properly tightened. Installation of Roxtec G 6x1 BGB To install the Roxtec G 6x1 BGB, you need the frame, the compression unit, stay plates, RM BGB modules, and Roxtec lubricant. Use bolts to mount the frame to the wall or floor location. Secure the ground wire to the appropriate path. Use eye protection when preparing the cables. Feed the cables through the frame opening. Starting with the largest ones, place the module halves around the cables. Insert a stay plate on top of every finished row of modules. Make sure that the stay plates are clean. Fill the packing space with cables, modules, and stay plates. To simplify the installation, 
pre-compression tools can be used to make room and to keep the cables in place. Before installing the final row of modules, insert two stay plates together. The last one can be held in place with a stay plate holder. Install the final row of modules between the stay plates. Drop the upper one on the modules. To make room for the Roxtec wedge, you may pre-compress the system with the hand grip or Roxtec pre-compression wedge. Lubricate the Roxtec wedge. Insert it in the frame with the marked side facing the stay plate. Tighten the bolts alternately until stop. The wedge will compress and seal the transit and the excess lubricant will be squeezed out. Attach the wedge clip to check that the wedge is properly tightened. 